Hi everybody, this is Damian Boudreau, founder of Auto Training Academy and author of Keep It Simple Selling. In the last video, we talked about rules of engagement, about keeping it simple for the customers so you can better serve them. Rules of engagement, I'll review it really fast. It went like this, customer first. And these are mine. You can adopt them if you want. You want to have the customer feel like royalty. You want them to, you want to make every word track. You want every communication. You want to make all the processes work for your customer. Number two, it has to work for you so you can talk from your heart. So you can be proud of what you do. So you can be honorable in what you do. You want to be 100% honest. No such thing as an inconsequential lie. Every lie costs you something. And when you lie, you got to be smart because you got to remember that shit. And you don't want to. You want to be honest because you don't have to be smart when you're honest. You just have to be yourself. So you want to remember those things. So let's talk about follow-up reluctance. That's that phone call you got to make the next day. You know the one where you're going, I don't want to call them. And you don't want to call them because you already know you can't help them. You can't get the price right. You can't get the trade in right. You you don't, you didn't get enough money. They, they got terrible credit. They can't buy nothing. And you're supposed to call and follow up. Well, the business of your business is people. The key to massive success is not just building a relationship, but maintaining the relationship for life. You do that, you're going to be profitable. You're going to be proud. And you'll have a purpose-filled business that you can hang on to and pass on to your kids. So how do you get past that fear, that anxiety of that call? Well, first you have to recognize what your fear is, what you're afraid of. I know you, they take, just gut up, do it anyway. But you want to do it from here and gutting up is a forced deal. So how do you make every call work? Well, the first thing you do is you ask this question. What has to happen for me to make this phone call work for my customer? That when I call this, my customer goes, I'm so glad they called. That the call was not for your benefit. It wasn't for your manager's benefit. It was for the customer's benefit. The customer benefited from it. They win. They get the glory and the, they treat it well. That's what you want. The second thing you have to do is after you ask what has to happen for the, to make the customer feel like royalty and work for the customer, how do I make it work for me? What questions do I have to do? How do I make this so it comes from a place of service, a place of kindness, a place of here, let me help you. Let me figure this out so I can solve your problem, S solve and help you move toward the possibility of you getting whatever you wanted. You see, that's what you want to do. You want to make it work for your customer, then it has to work for you. And finally, if you knew that every phone call you make was 100% honest, that you didn't have to lie, cheat, steal, avoid, evade, I don't know, I can't tell you, whatever else you're doing on the phone call. If you knew that, hey, look, here I am. This is all I got. I'm exposed. This is it. If you had to do that, if you could do that, the call would be easier. So simply ask these questions. What has to happen for it to work for my customer? What has to happen for it to work for me? And finally, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk straight. I'm going to be honest. You see what that's called? That's just called keeping it simple. You see, this is a great business. It's a gold mine. It's your gold mine. You have to start asking good questions, questions our industry refuses to ask. You have to ask them. You have to say, what has to happen for me to take advantage of this gold mine, this, this rags to riches story I can build? That's what I want you to do. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to pay attention this week. Everything works for the customer. Everything works for you and everything is honest. You see, you do that and this business gets easy. I want to thank you again for all the posts and all the comments you keep sending me. Even some of them are a little funny. I'm grateful for those funny ones and I'm grateful for those honest ones. I'm, I'm really grateful that, that I'm hearing that I'm touching your life and that, that what I'm saying, my words are making difference for you because that's why I'm here. This business, I'm... I'm grateful I'm in it, and I, I want you to be grateful too.
So I want you to pay attention. Keep posting. Keep sending me stuff and listen to my podcast and read my blog and watch the videos, whatever modality you want to connect with me. And thank you so much. You have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.